Today, you will learn how to add and set up GroovyBot in your Discord server. Now, some of you guys might be wondering what Groovy actually is. Well, it's a popular music bot, which allows you to play music in Discord voice channels. It allows your members to listen to any music they want in a voice channel, and multiple people are able to listen along too. So today, I'm just going to show you how to add the bot into your Discord server and set the entire thing up. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All you have to do is go into the link in the description below, and it will link you to this page right here. And this right here is the Groovy bot. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. It tells you all the like different things about the bot, like the cool little features it has. And it also gives you some cool reviews down here, which other people have like commented on saying it's a pretty cool music bot. Love working on this project. Best music out there. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So as you can see, all of these are five stars. So, well, some of them are four, but as you can see, it's a pretty decent bot. It's got 11.5 million servers it's in. So that just shows how popular the bot actually is. So all you have to do to invite it is just click this button right here and it should take you to this page. And all you have to do is literally sign into your Discord account. As you can see, I'm already signed in. And you have to just select down here the select a server and you just choose the server which you want to add the bot to. So for me, it's gonna be the video test server. So I click that there and then click continue. I then just give the bot the permissions which it needs to actually like join the VCs and play the music. So all you have to do is just click authorize to make sure this thing is ticked. So click authorize and then just do the verification to show that you're a human. Obviously I'm a human so when I tick that it gives me the tick and it's in my discord server. How easy is that? So yeah, as you can see, Groovy is in the Discord server. And now I'm just going to show you like the setup process, which you need to do in the Discord server. And then we'll move on to the commands to actually set the bot up. All you're going to need is a music channel. So you can just do this here in the voice channels category in your server. You just click the plus right here. And you want to make sure you create a voice channel. So click that there and make the channel name maybe a music room. But you can name this however you want. And then click create channel down here. As you can see, it appears right here. Now if we join this channel, as you can see I'm in the uh, VC, and now we're just going to set up the bot. So you want to go over to your bot commands channel, as you can see here, and you can see it's just actually said, thanks for adding me to your Discord server. So it just gives you the basic welcome thing, it tells you how the introduction of the bot, which gives you like the list of commands and stuff, but I'm just going to go through all of those quickly. So to play a song, you just do dash play and then the song name. You can do this in any channel, but you probably want to do it in a bot commands channel so it doesn't flood your general chat. And you want to do the command dash play. And then you just put your song name. So it could be maybe, I don't know, all star. Obviously, I'm not going to play this for copyright reasons because, yeah, all star would get me copyrighted. But yeah, as you can see, the music is actually playing. And you can just test this yourself if you want to add it to the Discord server if you don't believe me. So that's the basic thing. You've just added the bot and it can play the music, which is what you want. But now I'm going to show you the different commands which you can use to actually, like, change the bot. Maybe skip tracks, pause the music, and pause the music, see what's playing, and different things like that. So right now on the screen, you can see the full list of commands and it's pretty simple. It's actually just the prefix is dash and you just add like these different things on. So I'm just going to go through like the basic ones. So the play, which we just mentioned before, which is when you can add a song like into a queue or you can actually play the song. And then we also have the queue here so you can see what's in the queue. So we go to dash queue and you can see it displays the uh, queue of the music currently and tells you how much time's left and the current track playing. Obviously, the more songs you add, it will make the queue longer and it might take a while before that song actually plays. So if I add another song to the queue, so for me, it's going to be dash play and then the song name. So never gonna give you up. Press enter. And there you go. It's added it to the queue and we can see the queue by doing dash queue. As you can see, it's right there. So now I'm going to show you the pause command, the skip command and the unpause. So you just do dash pause and it pauses the music. As you can see, it's just added the emoji to it. Then you can do dash play and then it will play the music again. Now you can do the skip command, which is just going to be dash skip. And this will skip to the next song in the queue. As you can see, it's now playing Never Gonna Give You Up. One cool thing you can do also is get the lyrics. So if you're in a VC with your friends or other members and you want to do like a sing along, you can just do the command dash lyrics. And this will just display the lyrics of the song. As you can see, all of them are right here. And it's just another cool feature. So now I'm going to show you the loop command. As I know some of you guys like to listen to the music like in a queue continuously, like a playlist. So literally it's just as simple as dash loop. And you'll see it just loops the current track. And finally, once you're done listening to all your music, you can just disconnect the bot, 
So all you have to do for that is just the dash and disconnect. And you'll see the bot just instantly leaves the VC. There are tons of other commands which you can use. As you can see, the ones with the stars, they're all the ones which are premium. So you can get bass boost, you can increase the volume, the speed, the pitch, and you can get it playing for 24-7. That's insane. Now, one thing about the bot is that it's got to be fair to everyone. So when you're in a Discord VC on your own, if you have the bot in there, you're basically having full control over what the bot actually does. But when someone else joins the VC, for example, if they want to maybe listen to music as well, if they start using the bot, it's going to have to compensate for that person. So for example, if you're playing a song and you want to skip it, you'd have to wait for the other person to actually skip as well. It's like a vote skip thing. That's one disadvantage you could say, but I guess that just makes it fair for everyone. There is one way around this though. And this could be if you own the server, you can give either yourself or other people the DJ role. And this is basically when you have the full control over the bot, regardless having different people in the VC. You wouldn't have to wait for multiple people to vote to skip the track, and there wouldn't be that much of a music queue because you can skip the songs which people don't want easily, or if you're not interested in, but remember just to be fair, because people like to listen to their own music as well. So to conclude, I'd say the bot is pretty cool. I would add it to your Discord server because who doesn't like music and your members are probably going to love it. If you did find this video useful, be sure to smash the like button and if you want, be sure to subscribe as it would help me out a lot. Be sure to join the Discord servers which are on the screen right now as yeah, they're pretty cool. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.